everybody. I'm Laura. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I'm an industrial designer. And I'm here today to talk about uh, how fits the role of the designers in the maker revolution and how practical design must change to adapt to open hardware. I'm sorry, I'm Laura. Well, first we need to answer what is design. And it's common to see it like a process to enhance finished product and like a stroke of magic of creativity. But, you know, design has nothing to do with magic. Design is, an, is about understanding people, understanding user needs, and create the best solution of all of the users. In fact, in the 60s, Yotoram established the 10 principles of good design, and his work is interesting to understand that it's possible to work with the patterns of design and that can be applied to all the products. In a way, he said that design is not a black box. Design doesn't have to start from scratch every time we need to create a new product. But the problem is, instead, today, the designers are training to work in companies, in mass manufacturing companies. And in, in these companies, these companies need to one, I'm sorry, these companies need to create uh, one solution to fit all their user needs. And to get to the same product, to the, to, to, <laughs> and to get to the same product to all the users, need to build one solution. And the problem is, like this example, uh, the our airplane seat that fits all the all of us more or less, but doesn't fit anyone perfectly. But, you know, today everything is changing. We are in the mega revolution, and we have ways to do things differently. Instead of companies, we have platforms. And in this new landscape, we have two players. The platform designer, who is the responsible to the generation of open system, the open, the open generative system, and the maker, the do-it-yourself, that adapt these solutions to build the solution of their own problems. Well, but this equation has a blind spot. Something is missing here. What happened with all the rest of the end users? You know, the makers are just a small part of the society. And if you really want to open hardware to become a source of mainstream products, we need to find the non-do-yourself users, who are the vast majority. And even if you're a maker, you're a maker shut a, a, in a small part of your, in, in a small aspect of your life. And let's be honest, not everyone is going to be the prosumer that we thought. We need to get to all the users. This is the point. Well, in this new landscape, we need someone who can adapt the platform designers to the needs of the end user. We need a third role. And I call them micro, -designer, micro designers. The micro designers are, are not just industrial designers, maybe it's a, a team of makers, entrepreneurs, um, Hackers and designers is even better. The idea is, is, some, is, is the bridge between the platform designer and the user. And it's not just a bridge. Remember, I spoke about the drums before. The micro designers is the way how knowledge of timeless principle of good design enters into the maker revolution. And this is a new landscape to get to all the users. So what abilities should those micro designers have? Well, have to be empathetic, understanding the user needs, have to should also adapt his work to specific local context. I mean understand technology available and materials and understand specific needs like disability or cultural differences. 
And the most important thing is that these micro designers need to create a common language. And I'm not talking about 3D modeling a parametric system. The micro designers need to create a common language to develop new products. I'm sorry. Well, that's I call these micro designers, the DJs of the maker revolution, because they're the ones who remix the, the open source development to the functional things, trying to adapt them to local taste of particular communities. And what should we do? Well, at first we need to have the design schools. They must, the designers, the micro designers, they must learn to embrace the power of the open platforms, build with the work of others, and co-create with, with the users. And it's a different idea for the idea of a, a designer like a genius artistic, uh, in search of artistic creation or product of the inspiration. Uh, this designer is really different. And on the other hand, we need to build a bridge between the platform designer and the micro designer. We need to work together to get to all the rest of the users. And let me tell you something. Think about in 20 or 30 years, the mass conceptual products made for average out needs of millions will look like something out of from history books. The new manufacturing paradigm will also change the way we understand beauty of our aesthetics. In this sense, School of Designs will cre must create the new idea of beauty. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.